We all know that IHOP is the go-to spot for satisfying breakfast, lunch, or dinner cravings. But did you know there's so much more to this iconic establishment than meets the eye? While you may think you know everything about IHOP, there's a treasure trove of fascinating facts and secrets that will leave you hungry for more. It holds a treasure trove of surprises waiting to be uncovered. Well, let's dive in and discover the mouth-watering mysteries that lie behind those pancake-filled doors. Now let's journey back to 1958, when three visionary pioneers, Jerry Lappin, Al Lappin, and Albert Callis, joined forces with the help of Sherwood Rosenberg and William Kay to create a breakfast sensation like no other. Birthed in the vibrant city of Los Angeles, California, the International House of Pancakes, or IHOP, emerged as a beacon of culinary delight. Picture the very first IHOP at 4301 West Riverside Drive in Burbank, California, igniting a legacy that would captivate pancake enthusiasts for decades to come. But wait, did you know that two of the original IHOP locations are still flipping pancakes and serving smiles today? Yes, the second and third restaurants located at 8555 Vesper Avenue in Panorama City and 3625 Stalker Avenue in Baldwin Hills, formerly a Brown Derby restaurant, have stood the test of time, embracing generations of satisfied customers. Next, let's talk architecture. IHOP's prototype design featured a charming steep-roofed A-frame building, adorned with a striking blue roof that became synonymous with their brand. Although most IHOP locations have evolved beyond the A-frame style, a handful of these nostalgic structures continue to grace the American landscape, keeping the spirit of the original alive. Fast forward to 1973, a pivotal year for IHOP when they decided to adopt a snappy new name for marketing purposes, IHOP. You might remember their playful commercials featuring a cartoon kangaroo, capturing hearts and appetites across the nation. Since then, the full name and acronym have become officially interchangeable solidifying IHOP's place in breakfast history. As time went on, IHOP realized that its culinary prowess extended beyond the realm of breakfast. In the glorious 1980s, they expanded their menu to include mouth-watering lunch and dinner options, rivaling other beloved restaurant chains like Sambo's and Denny's, a true transformation for the pancake powerhouse. In a stroke of innovation, IHOP unveiled its exciting plans in December 2019 a new venture known as Flipped. Imagine a chain of fast, casual breakfast restaurants designed to delight those seeking a quick and scrumptious morning fix. On a sunny day, July 16, 2007, IHOP Corporation dropped a bombshell announcement, a plan to acquire the bar and grill chain Applebee's in an all-cash transaction valued at approximately 2.1 billion U.S. dollars. Shareholders of Applebee's were in for a treat, as they would receive a generous $25.50 per share. Now that's some serious dough. Of course, any epic acquisition comes with its fair share of drama. While 70% of Applebee's shareholders gave a resounding thumbs up to the deal, some Applebee's executives weren't so thrilled. Applebee's director and major shareholder Burton Skip Sack voiced his discontent, claiming that the IHOP offer undervalued their beloved chain. He even hinted at a potential legal battle to secure a higher price. Talk about fiery negotiations. But IHOP had big plans for Applebee's. They envisioned a complete brand overhaul and a fresh new image for the popular chain. It was all about revitalizing Applebee's experience and captivating customers with a bold marketing scheme, a recipe for success. Fast forward to November 29, 2007, the day the deal became official. The ink dried, the contract sealed, and IHOP proudly welcomed Applebee's into its culinary family. It was a match that would go down in restaurant history. The story didn't end there, though. IHOP underwent a significant transformation, and on June 2, 2008, it shed its IHOP moniker, giving way to a new corporate identity, Dine Equity. It was a symbol of their expanded portfolio and a grand vision for the future. In a stroke of culinary creativity, a franchisee unveiled a hybrid restaurant in downtown Detroit, combining the best of both worlds, an Applebee's and an IHOP under one roof. Imagine the possibilities of these culinary giants join forces to deliver a dining experience like no other. 
Now let's get into the most interesting part of this video. And if you like to learn about the history of your favorite eateries, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Did you know that they sued another IHOP? You may think IHOP stands solely for International House of Pancakes, but there's another player in town using that same acronym, the International House of Prayer. In a twist of fate, these two organizations found themselves entangled in a legal showdown back in 2010. Now you might be scratching your head wondering how pancakes and prayer ended up clashing in court. Well, it all started when the church decided to step into the world of gastronomy and began serving food alongside their spiritual services. The pancake powerhouse IHOP argued that they had trademarked the acronym back in 1973, long before the church's culinary venture. They claimed they had repeatedly asked the church to cease using the name, but those pleas seemed to fall on deaf ears. With tensions rising, IHOP took legal action, filing a lawsuit against the International House of Prayer. Just a few months after the lawsuit was initiated, it was dropped, and the two parties entered mediation in the hopes of settling without going to court. While the specifics of the resolution remain under wraps, one thing is for sure. It was a hot topic in the legal world. So what's the latest scoop on this pancake versus prayer saga? Well, as of 2017, the church decided to distance itself from any further confusion by adopting the new moniker IHOP KC. With this clever twist, they made it crystal clear that they were in the business of serving up prayers, not pancakes. Moving on. IHOP's National Pancake Day is a date that pancake enthusiasts everywhere eagerly mark on their calendars. Since 2006, IHOP has been on a mission to turn March 7th into something truly special. They teamed up with esteemed organizations such as the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, Shriners Hospitals for Children, and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society to create a day that goes beyond breakfast indulgence. The goal? To raise substantial funds for these incredible charities. Talk about giving back to society. Here's how it works. On National Pancake Day, IHOP invites their generous guests to make a meaningful impact by making a donation to one of the partner charities, rather than paying the standard price for a scrumptious short stack of pancakes. And let's be clear, we're not talking about spare change here. This initiative aims to make a significant difference. In 2017 alone, IHOP estimated that they would proudly serve a staggering 5 million pancakes on this special day. But that's not all. They anticipated raising an incredible $3.5 million to contribute to their already impressive total of over $24 million that they had previously raised for these worthy causes. Here is a fun fact. The story behind the International House of Pancakes, or IHOP, is a fascinating twist of irony. While the name may evoke visions of a globally recognized chain, its true origins lie in the realm of menu diversity and culinary exploration. Believe it or not, the international in IHOP wasn't a grand proclamation of global dominance. Instead, it was a clever nod to the restaurant's eclectic menu offerings, Picture this, IHOP envisioned a world of pancakes, each representing a different corner of the globe. And for a glorious period, they achieved this gastronomic feat. Their original menu boasted an array of delectable delights, such as the historically inspired Persian pancake, the tantalizing Tahitian orange pineapple pancake, and even a tropical treat known as the Kauai coconut pancake. Imagine a fluffy pancake adorned with coconut shavings and drizzled with a delectable coconut sugar sauce, lovingly imported from the Philippines. Now you might be wondering how IHOP managed to craft such a diverse and mouthwatering menu. Well, a culinary genius by the name of Pete Marsubian stepped up to the plate. He worked his magic, creating these original recipes that continue to grace IHOP's tables to this very day. That's right, folks, the same basic recipes that have delighted pancake aficionados for decades. And on the bad side, one Manhattan IHOP has had epic stink problems. Imagine living in the tantalizing aroma of sizzling bacon wafting through your neighborhood day in and day out. Sounds like a dream come true for bacon lovers, right? Well, not so fast. In one corner of Manhattan, a breakfast battleground emerged, and it wasn't a tasty dispute. Let's turn back the clock to 2012, when a feud between an East Village IHOP and its neighbors began brewing. It wasn't the calorie-laden temptations or heart-stopping indulgences that sparked the controversy. It was the pervasive smell. Yes, you heard that right. 
The heavenly scent of bacon grease became the cause of sleepless nights and restless complaints for the locals. After all, is there anything worse than the constant aroma of irresistible bacon that you can't even devour? IHOP, eager to find a solution, hatched a plan. They invested a whopping $40,000 in a cutting-edge contraption known as the Smog Hog. This impressive piece of machinery was designed to capture and eliminate any odors before they had a chance to escape into the atmosphere. It seemed like a foolproof strategy, right? In an unexpected twist, those very neighbors who once longed for a scent-free existence were now raising a new clamor. The problem? The smog hog, while effective at odor eradication, turned out to be a noise menace of its own. It seemed that in this culinary battle there was no clear victor. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, finding a middle ground can be as elusive as the perfect pancake flip. As we come to the end of our pancake-packed journey, we're left with one burning question for you, dear viewer. Are you Team Bacon Bliss or Team Smog Hog Struggle? The battle between delicious aromas and deafening contraptions rages on. Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support our channel. Until next time, pancake enthusiasts, keep flipping, savoring, and indulging in the extraordinary world of pancakes. Bon appétit and happy pancake trials!